I don't hearing. see no pimple. Nothing it in hurts. there. Ow! Oh, my bad, my bad. All right, right now, we're going to the property. I need to take the two car lifts that I got. Um, just been sitting here on the 20-foot dovetail for a couple months now, I want to say. At least a month. So we need to get those off. We finally got the tractor working. So uh, let's. Uh, we're all loaded up. So all we gotta do, hit the road, hit the land, and uh, see where we want to put these guys. Oh, reliable 6L. Woo! Over here, looks like the lifts made it just fine. So now what we need to do is find a good spot where to place them. I would just put them in the basement. I think actually about 80 feet dug out, 80 by 40. So if it, if anything, this is where the shop will be. But here's the concrete pad that somebody's already poured. It's been obviously a while. Look at all those butter. Oh, there's moths. And then we cleaned this up yesterday to get a good idea of what uh, we can just do with it with this. Um, I might just put the lifts here for now because this is the cleanest spot and it's kind of like out of the way. And you guys can kind of see. We had that big old storm I was talking about, and uh, well, it took a big old tree down. But everything else, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the tractor, get the chain, and try to back it up here, and then just lift them up, and then put them right here. So I might clean this area out real quick, and uh, see what we can do here. See what sucks is like I was saying, I gotta get all this walnut, and all all these, that's, uh, that's mulberry over there that I gotta, I just gotta trim everything up. Oh God, I forgot I had a trailer with me. And of course it's not gonna move the way I want it. Tractor come up, grab it, pick it up, turn, and we're good to go. All right, let's get this unstrapped to get all that stuff over there moved. Yeah, I'll probably just grab all this and maybe be able to just toss it on the table. That way I can just grab it when I get this pallet fork attachments for the bucket oh perfect all right now that that's out of the way we got yeah this is gonna work just fine just drive up here grab it pick it up swing it load it drop it all right this is all the stuff i need to worry about this got the lift pads in it the cables we should be good though if i picked it if i wrap it wrap it we should be fine Whew. And I'm not, I'm definitely not picking these up. These things are probably 60 pounds each, 70 pounds each. And these are probably double that. So I'm just gonna let the tractor do all the heavy lifting and save my back. All right, baby, here we go. Oh yeah, first try. This is what's leaking on this thing, on the joystick. I was wishing I was dreaming, but this thing just leaking, watch this. The puke it out. Are we gone. What sucks is when it leaks, I have no power steering. I want to kind of go straight on. Don't want to kill it, but I want to chain it first. Alright. All right. Making some slack out of it. I think it's just tilting it. Woo! All right, let's readjust. Round two. Even scarier. <laughs> let's see. Is it still trying to tip? Oh, we're off. It's off. All right. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Firmly grasp it. Ah. Oh, sh oh, God. No power steering. Woo. I set it down perfectly. Unhook me. I'm gonna back it up and then meet me over there. One down, three to go. 
All right, now let's go up. All right, we're up. Can you try to pull it? Pull it over? Yeah, why? I'm gonna slowly drop it. Good? Yeah. This one might be a little bit more sketchy. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. A thousand pounds by themselves. Yeah, here we go. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. There we go, look at that. Not as bad as I thought. Bam, just like that. Fuck! This is so, so easy. A little bit fun too, I see why people do this for a living. Last one and then we gotta put the little guys inside. Tractor! Come on. Oh! We're still good. I just gotta get out of this rut. Woo! There we go. This is the most dangerous. There we go. That'll work. Look at that. I'm just out of breath. Lifts are underneath the tarp. Tractor's put back up. I need to take off. And if you guys can't hear, I got a train going on. But I need to take this guy off and take it with me. And I need to take the control panel off and take that with me. I might wait till tomorrow uh, when I have more tools, but uh, everything's done there. So let's get back to uh, the old garage and uh, get back to work. So I ordered a 160 thermostat and I got some free tools well not free but this sat overnight and it seems like the fluids all the way down because there was probably what do you remember just a little bit in here mm -hmm. and then it vacuumed all the way down what I did because a lot of you guys said the thermostat's bad so that's one I went ahead and get this one uh, this little Murray it's a 160 temp the OEM one's a 187, uh, which is what I have in there now. I know you don't want to be under cooling. Say like the, the core temperature is like 170, 80. You can tune for it, but they don't want you to be kind of in that range. So what I'm going to do, start it, let it warm up and see, because it seems like it's finally full and there's no air. So I'm gonna see if that was my problem. I'm really, 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 really hoping it is. And then I also got a different filler neck. That way I can try to vacuum bleed it um, better. It didn't work, don't know why. So let's go ahead and start it um, and just basically let, let it get up the temp and see if it works. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I always forget I disconnect the battery on this thing. Should we be ready to rock and roll, one, two, three. That, they're mad. Oh, my battery voltage is at 12.6. Uh, I really hope my, bat my alternator didn't just get wet and that's it. All right, it seems to be a little bit, oh, die. Don't you dare, let's pull it outside. Wop, 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 big cam. Aw, no big cam. Make sure we're not leaking. Wop, wop, wop. Seem to be good so far. All right, we're doing a 126. I feel like it might be a little bit better, but like I said, without just sitting here watching it, I kid you not, it was like, Within a minute, it was already getting hot. So hopefully this is different. Cooling fans are set on all the time. 
to really help the problem. So let's just find out, I guess. Oh, I was doing so good. This shut off. Oh, we're at 205. That's scary. Six. Let's drop him back down, so that's a good sign. All right, everything just gotta start freaking out as soon as I'm about to start driving. Brake lights are working again. I idled, I dropped it down, it was at five TPS, so. Oh yeah, this feels wicked cool already. get too crazy i really want to keep an eye on the oh manual brakes are definitely definitely weird those are definitely not my favorite the manual brakes Let's see if it dies on me no we got the idle back okay we might be ready for the dyno oh i'm gonna have to really get used to manual i'm like shoving my foot down i guess i'll just let this thing idle out Oh, that's weird it's like like a ch -ch -ch type noise i don't i don't know what it is i hear it down there maybe it's just the brakes been sitting for so long i don't know well it started overheating again crazy part is i just started revving it a little bit and it just started leaking out of this area so something's building pressure i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna scratch the camaro radiator Okay, that actually feels hot now. It was doing great, okay? I'm not lying. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scratch that and see if I can put the radiator a little bit higher, if I can. Uh, I don't know how much higher. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna help at all. Well, I bit the bullet. We got the straight up and down style. Um, so where the outlets are kinda in the middle. So the plan is we're gonna take this and put it in there. This one's a lot taller. Um, this one is currently about 29 and a half inches wide or 29 and a half inches in length. And I would say around 19 and a half tall. This one's around 22 and a half, uh, give or take about 22 inches. So this one's more square and that's obviously a lot more rectangular. So let's go ahead, drain the coolant try to catch as much as we can because I really don't want to keep refilling uh, with water. So we'll take this radiator out and uh, we'll get this in there, get it mocked up. This should sit a lot better in the middle and I should be able to, I want to be able to tilt it up. That way the cooling system is a little bit higher. Um, if I have to try to maneuver this guy a little bit more than I have um, just to help it out. Before I start draining coolant, I'm gonna push this. Uh, I forgot about the radiator. It's crazy how much easier it is when you just kind of you take that pipe off and you take the fan off. I forgot I made it to where I can literally just take it off. Let's do a little comparison. See how much bigger this thing is. It's probably a couple inches. All right, in the very bottom the very top oh yeah it's about i'd say four inches yeah about four inches then obviously it's got three inches on one side and about four on the other side so seven inches smaller on the width so let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like actually inside here i'm gonna have to make new brackets hopefully not but Let's just see what it looks like. All right, this is kind of where the last one's at. Given I can go lower, I just don't know if I can. Yeah, it's not showing just yet, so that's good. I just don't know if this intake will sit on there still. Okay, intake's on, but this won't go unless I bend it forward some. We'll have to take this out. We'll have to take this off and actually see where we're sitting. We're gonna do some modifications real fast. All right, we move this up to see if we can help with the angle, but I don't know if it's gonna sit now with the hood. Come on, here we go. Are we hitting it? 
Yeah, just a little bit. All right, so the radiator's in, intake tube is back on. I actually had to cut it down a lot. Um, so this should work just fine. This is actually mounted. I'm just hoping that when I put the upper ra upper radiator hose, they're kind of more stiff, and then the lower, and then obviously when I put the fan in, I think I can actually put it up front. I don't know, what do you guys think? Put it on this side and run it that way, or put it on that side and run it that way, but this thing should be ready to go. I just need to go get some hoses and we should be ready. So fast forward tomorrow, we'll see you then. New radiator in, we got it mounted last night. Those are welded in, so technically I can just unbolt it and stick it right out. It's not going anywhere, surprisingly. I do know I need to put a fan either here or here. I didn't make a poll last night to see what you guys thought, but hoses are on, make sure if hoses are good. I think we're good. I mean, this one's good at angle. This one's like really good, it's really straight, and I'm really hoping that we're a-okay, but it's been sitting here. I'm trying to let it burp out as much as I can. Go ahead and start it, and let's watch that temperature. I'm praying this is the problem, because I really want to go drive this thing. Gary! Are you mad? And uh, coolant's topped off. I think we are ready to go. It's a little bit gloomy today, but it's all right. We just gotta take the hood off and uh, let's get driving. I am so excited and I'm really hoping that this just kind of works. All right, first official test drive. Never mind. Come on, get out of the garage at least. Let's go. Oh, I love these manual brakes. But we're at 166, 167, 160, oh god. So it is climbing extremely fast even with the hood open. I don't know if that's a good thing or is that a bad thing? Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Alright. Now 
We got one car coming, two car coming. Please don't get me killed. All right, here we go. I definitely know that stuff of mine. Ugh. Hey, don't be jealous. Yeah, you know it looks bitching when it dies like that. Is that oil? Yeah. Is it oil? Yeah. Where's it from? It's coming from underneath here. But you got it spr it's spattering right, it's splattering right there. So it's coming I, from somewhere. I want. I wonder. It might be the trans cooler. Oh yeah. So. That's an easy fix. Uh, as so. as long as the coolant's good, it was chilling at 180. I'm fucking. I don't, I, I don't give a. It felt so weird to finally drive it. 180. That's it? Yeah. Stop. Well, if it shuts off, it gets hot kind of fast. But when it's cruising, it's fine. It does not like the turn. And if you try to give it more than 5%, it... So if you're trying to do a U-turn like it did, you're going to die. All right, I'm parking it. It's windy. I got a ball game to go to. I'm going to let it run and idle. We just got to fix a trans cooler line that's leaking. I kind of want to run it differently through here back down. That should be fine. I don't want to run it how I have it just kind of straight through because um, I think everything's getting a little bit too hot. But yeah, we got a little bit of a trans cooler leak. Just a little bit. But everything else is peachy clean. We just got to get, uh, get it tuned. I am so excited. So freaking excited. I also need to jack it up and push the whole cross member back because I think the alignment is completely too far forward. I got like two inches here and four inches here. So I think if I push it back, uh, cause I don't, I did not square the K member when I first put it in. So that's uh, probably a reason why the alignment's out. And that's why I even put the camber caster plates on there and I still can't get enough. Like I said, that was a success. I'm super pumped. I hope you guys are pumped. That was honestly the best feeling after a year and a half of this thing sitting, finally driving it, felt amazing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.